Somebody asked, what about deliverance ministries? You know, where we cast demons out of people? Coming up next on Pastor Bob Daily. Well, I'm always up for a challenge, I think. You know, there are some subjects I'd like to avoid and not talk about, and today just might be one of those times. <laughs> it's a little controversial, but I'd be happy to give you my take on the whole thing. There are ministries, whole ministries, that just do deliverance. And uh, they get around people and they cast the demons out of them. They deliver them from certain things that might be hindering them. And, and they go through this whole thing. And sometimes, many times, the deliverance ministries have a group of people. And um, there's an audience and there's a stage. And it's done on stage. Interesting. I'm not a real big fan of those. Now, are there legitimate deliverance ministries? Yes. Honestly, in my experience, I've seen very few that I felt like were really legitimate. There's two things that bother me. First of all, the Bible says that Jesus came to live inside of us. When we receive him as our Lord and Savior, he takes over. There's not room for anybody else, so Christians cannot be demon-possessed. Secondly, the Holy Spirit works from the inside out, not necessarily the outside in, inside out. And we keep wanting to see these, well, proofs for our spirituality, for our relationship with God. And so we want these, well, some of them end up as kind of like circus sideshows. You know what I'm saying? Where we, we kind of perform and we do these deliverance things and there's demons and there's very dramatic and all of this. And, you know, Jesus got frustrated with that very thing. He said, you know, my people keep seeking after a sign. He said, you, you missed the point. The kingdom of God is within you, is within you. Isn't that exciting? So here's my point today. If somebody is demon possessed, what they honestly need is Jesus Christ. You can cast that demon out. And you can, and I've been there before, I've done that. And then you make sure that it doesn't come back in, because the Bible says, honestly, that if that person doesn't become a Christian, then it'll return with seven of its worst friends. Kind of scary. But the point is that when Jesus enters, demons flee. And uh, I always feel like even for demon possession, I demand to talk to the person, the demons be quiet, and ask them if they'd like to receive Jesus. And when they do, everything changes. So I don't, I've not really had much of a need for deliverance ministries. For that reason, when Jesus appears, demons flee. The Bible says even at the name of Jesus, demons flee. That's the kind of power we have in Jesus Christ. So. I think when you have Jesus, you have everything. You may be demon oppressed, Satan trying to lie to you, all those things from the outside, but he can't live inside. And if he is living inside and you're not a Christian, there's a really good care for that. Jesus Christ. The Bible says when you ask him to enter, when you ask him to come into your life, into your heart, he will enter and you will become a child of God and there's not room enough in there for anyone or anything else. That's exciting, isn't it? God bless you. Have a great day.